a faded sign at the side of the road that says 15 miles to the Love Shack! Love Shack, yeah, yeah I'm heading home Just another manic Monday Alright, so welcome to my second uh, ATW chat vlog uh, my name's Jack, but you guys already know that if you've watched last week's. And if you haven't, go back and watch uh, all the previous week's vlogs because uh, they're all up on the YouTube channel or up and running. Um, first things first, I just have to uh, apologise for a sec for um, what I'm wearing. This is my uh, my school uniform, if you can uh, see. It's got, I've got my jumper on and I'm part of the student executive inside. If you can see, that's not really important. Uh, also, I just need to... Um, Need to apologise for my mumbling. I, I rewatched last week's last week's vlog, and I noticed that my, uh, my I mumble quite a lot, and that's kind of what I do in in life, in my life <laughs> when I talk to just normally. So um, if I mumble, just please bear with me, and I'm trying to focus on my uh, vocabulary. So yeah, I just want to. Uh, Alright, so the reason why I love this episode so much is because it had everything that. The Glee is pretty much like it just had every every little aspect of what Glee has built itself up to be. Another thing that um that I want to talk about is um God Squad. Uh, I have many opinions about the God Squad. The God Squad they um they decided to sing. Well, Santana came up to join it and and the whole God Squad. It was Sam Mercedes um Quinn and Joe um and. She was mainly addressing this to Joey. Oh, so I can sing it. You guys have to sing a song to anybody of my partner or whatever. I want you to sing to my girlfriend, girlfriend, Brittany. And um, I loved how this episode tackled the Christianity views on homosexuality um, based on kind of the social views and personal mental um, issues. And this topic kind of is a bit close, not so much close to heart, but it's kind of a little personal to me because um, my my best friend is very very Christian, and I I just love seeing how this episode tackled your, your own personal conflict with your own views on something based on your religious views that you were growing up. He liked this girl, and they ended up going out for a bit. Um, and he wasn't supposed to have a girlfriend because and forgive me if I'm wrong, because this might not be correct. Um, because of his religious religious views that his parents enforced on, onto him. And so he had to tackle his own personal wantings, kind of, with his own religious, uh, with his own, with, with, with his own religious upbringing. His own battle, how he grew up with his religious views, but then his own personal, um, things got in the way. Do you know what I mean when I say that? Yeah, well, you can't tell me. You kind of know who he is. So, um, so yeah, so that kind of struck close to my, I, I could just relate to what, what, that we're talking about, and I just loved how Glee tackled that that um that issue because it, it it's actually very present to a lot of gay teenagers in um in nowadays, and it was just it was really nice to see how when they brought back Christianity, it wasn't in such an obvious way. It was just like, oh, okay, Joe didn't know what to do, and I liked how at the end he reproved himself, and then um and uh. It, it was really um, a, a good testament to um, testament. <laughs> it was a good um, good way to show that all Christians don't um, don't fall into the stereotype of of, of gay people don't like gay people, and that's why I really really liked what they were talking about in the episode because I was saying how um, Jesus Jesus died on the cross, and I know all this. I know this stuff. Jesus died on the cross, um, and ever since that that was to forgive all of us for our sins and if homosexuality is considered to be a sin he's forgiven us for that so if, if somebody asked me what Glee was I would give them this episode because it was based on love which is a main thing in Glee obviously there was so much there was so much funny in the episode there's so much drama there was gay because Glee it's all the gay in Glee um it was it was just perfect. That's all I can say. It was just perfect. And okay, so that so now I have theories on I have one theory that I'd like to talk about. A few weeks ago, I think it was two weeks ago, there was a report on Hyperbull and obviously other entertainment sites about Lee filming a car crash and 
Well, I thought that I was just mentioned me on the special edition um glee chat of the spoiler thing, saying that um the I I'm the guy who thought that it was Shelby and Beth that would be in the car accident, and I thought that was a, a really really good idea because it would make so much sense that Quinn is there for it because she would go there and then Miss Simone who is on the Wednesdays um well, one of my co-hosts. She said um, that it, that's why Quinn is the same in Ohio and that could take a whole spin on her plans to go to Yale. So that was really good. But now I'm either thinking, I don't think that it could be Quinn that gets in the car crash. I have a feeling it's going to be Rachel. Because in the in the promos, and I think it'll be after the regional performance, and it has to be because we've already seen the um, pictures to the photos. But I have a feeling at the end of the episode, Quinn is going to be seeing Rachel going through a car for something, and then, all, and then they're just going to then the whole episode will just end with a crash. That's, I just think that's going to happen. And so yeah, and I just hope that um, I hope everybody continues to um, to keep in touch with these um vlogs. And thank you for watching me again. I hope you've enjoyed me talking about about Glee. And um, I hope you had a great Valentine's Day um from the last week. I know mine was alright. It was a bit special. <laughs> so um, so yeah, I hope you had enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll vlog you later. Hi, it's me again. I know you guys just watched uh, this vlog, but um, when I was recording this vlog, uh, there were so many problems that were going on behind the scenes of making it. Uh, I recorded a vlog that went for 20 minutes of my just recording for uh, the whole Glee. So what I did was I cut it down to around 5 6 -ish minutes on the thing. But um, I spoke about it so much more for this episode of, of Glee for Heart. So um, if... I thought that I, w I spent about six or seven hours trying to cut this down and re-recording re it and everything. So I thought, hey, if if I spent all that time doing that, if you guys want the the full version, or the full copy of it, um, comment or just tweet, comment on this on this video, or tweet at j a k k p f. That's my Twitter at j a k k p f, or at the uh, ATW chat um Twitter, which is at ATW chat okay so if you want that just um yeah just tell me and i'll chuck it up on maybe a saturday or a sunday for uh, next week and um yeah i speak about some good things in that i speak about santana and britney quite a lot um about uh why it was, this episode was good in the context of the whole glee from the whole season and why it was glee so um yeah so if you want that, just tell me and I'll put it up there. So, uh, thank you again for uh, watching this and I hope you have all have a good week. Alright, see ya.